Doc, are you telling me I grind my teeth? I don't grind my teeth. Yeah, you do. Okay, so grinding is super, super common. I see it here every day, all day long. More people grind their teeth than don't, okay? Um, some people get headaches and jaw pain and tooth sensitivity, but the vast majority of people have no symptoms. They it doesn't hurt, they don't know they do it. I can see it from talking to them across the room. How are you doing, nice to meet you? Oh, I see you grinding your teeth. I don't say that, but that's what I'm thinking. I tell them a little later after I work my look at them closer. But I can often tell from across the room just talking to them. Um, I can see the patterns of how their teeth and when they close and how they're fitting together and I can see the wear on their teeth. But people, most people just don't look at their teeth that closely. Or if they do, since they're not hurting, they see some chips, they see some wear, but they don't remember. It looks like it did yesterday. It looks like it did the day before that. This is something that chips slowly over years and decades, like a wave on the beach slowly wearing away. It's not like we're snapping teeth in half every single day from this grinding. That can happen, but it's super rare in comparison to the slow wearing down of the teeth. Um, so that's why people don't know. So why do we grind our teeth? Okay, so here's the confusing part. Uh, most dentists don't know why we grind our teeth. Dentists have been arguing about this for decades or 50 years. There's different lines of thought and different ways you people teach you this and these people teach you that. Um, it used to be said a lot of times it was just you're stressed, you're stressed, you grind your teeth. I don't know, you just grind your teeth. Uh, everyone does it. Uh, also say it was bite related. Okay, oh, your teeth aren't lined up properly. So you're trying, your body is trying to get them to line up properly. So it keeps grinding them. Um, that was a huge, that's still a theory. Uh, I don't really buy in those series. There are a lot of studies in the past five to 10 years to give us some really good reasons about why people grind their teeth and they make sense. Uh, most dentists don't know this stuff yet. There are ways of figuring it out and it's more, more and more dentists are becoming aware of it. Um, but most of it, the studies are showing us, is related to airway, meaning that our, how we're taking air into our nose and our mouth and how we're breathing, both when we're sleeping and awake as well. Uh, so the newer studies, the newer theories are showing that when someone does not uh, breathe and get as much oxygen through their nose as they should when they're sleeping, this can lead sometimes to sleep apnea, but sometimes we don't have full sleep apnea, sometimes mild sleep apnea, sometimes we don't even have sleep apnea, we're just not getting as much, our oxygen level isn't dropping enough to be called sleep apnea, we're not stopping breathing, but it's less than it should be. And what happens with that when you're doing that? Well, you're sleeping, sometimes you snore, sometimes it's not snoring, but when you have full on sleep apnea or a version of it, you are not getting as much oxygen, okay? And then you are, and when this is happening, a lot of one things that happens is that you have acid reflux that comes with it. Okay, so when you're breathing in and then you're catching, not, you're not breathing in as much as you can, and then you catch your breath. You ever seen someone do this? You see that? They're sleeping. I mean, on an airplane is super common. I do on the airplane. Uh, that's them by their airway being shut off, stop breathing, but then their body waking them up so you don't die. So your body wakes you up to catch your breath. So that's the extreme version, but a lot of times it has a lesser version. But as you're catching your breath, acid vapors are coming up into our stomach from our stomach, excuse me, uh, and in our mouth. On extreme levels, we'll have acid reflux, which can erode our teeth, uh, cause problems. Sometimes we'll feel it. Sometimes we'll get heartburn. Um, you'll get sour stomach, kind of like you can't drink orange juice or you can't have breakfast at all for a few hours. You always just feel kind of nauseous in the morning. Um, but a lot of people don't have those symptoms, but yet we'll still see that I'll see the acid erosion in our teeth. So when you have, what's this have to do with grinding? So when you have acid on your teeth, your body is going to want to produce, it's going to grind its teeth. So what happens, they do this for a few reasons, okay? It's acid, so when you grind your teeth, it helps stimulate the saliva, salivary glands. Saliva produces there to neutralize acid, okay? Either from our diet um, or from our stomach. So there've been done studies where they've actually taken like a syringe of like acid, that's so weird, right? And when the person's sleeping, they put it in their mouth and they'll just start grinding their teeth. So that's one of the reasons that's related to sleep and airway. Another reason is when we're not getting that air that we should, our body is stressed. Okay, we're not getting to the deep levels of sleep. And our deep levels of sleep, when we're dreaming, our body heals and makes memories. Super important for our overall health. Um, but also when we're not doing those things, our body is stressed. We'll wake up, we'll be still be tired. You walk slept for eight hours. 
but you didn't get any good sleep. So you're still fatigued. Your body is stressed. What happens with stress? You have cortisol release. So cortisol is a stress hormone. It's released when you're stressed, either from not breathing, stress from your job. And when you have that cortisol, you want to get rid of it. Some of these people will be real tired all the time. But they still want to go to the gym to work out and get rid of that stress. But another way to get rid of that cortisol, grind our teeth. It feels good to grind our teeth. The body's getting rid of that cortisol. It's like exercise. So these are the kind of the main reasons that we think most people grind their teeth nowadays. So when someone is grinding their teeth now, we don't always just ask them, are you stressed at work? Now there's some truth to that. And there are some times it's not related to this that we don't know why they just grind their teeth, whether they have airway issues or not. Uh, there are a lot of medications, a lot of like anti-anxiety medications, really weird, huh? But they cause you to grind your teeth as well. Um, so there are other reasons, but the major ones is airway issues. So when I see someone with wear on their teeth and grinding, I ask them how they sleep, okay? So that's why most people grind their teeth. It's gonna take some decades for kind of the science and dental schools to catch up. Um, but if your dentist starts asking you about how you sleep at night, don't be annoyed at him and say, hey, I'm just here to get my teeth clean. I'm trying to save your life, man trying to save your life and uh, make you live longer, breathe better, protect your teeth, get a night guard, get your sleep evaluated, see the NT, check out your airway, see if anything to do. So these are, these are why we grind teeth. These are ways we can go into it. But uh, that's how, why most people grind their teeth. That's what I think anyway. Maybe call me in 20 years. Maybe they've changed it. The science has changed its mind again.